Well, hello, beautiful. Thank you so much for being here. I am Cody, the founder of Montaro Skincare, always here to help you have the most healthy, glowing, and gorgeous skin, regardless of age, concern, or budget. Oh, it feels so good to be back. If you are new, welcome. I have taken a little break and I'm back. I know that sounds so annoying when people say that, but you know, I have been pretty consistent here on YouTube. I'm just loving um, kind of creating more space in my life so that I can feel more creative and try to create content for you guys that is extremely beneficial. And today I am very excited actually to do a review for a product that I've been testing for about three weeks. This company, you know, we get a lot of emails for companies wanting to like, you know, have us use their product, test their product, review their product. And I always think how a company reaches out is really important. And this company just reached out really beautifully, no pressure, no like trying to make me say things, you know, they're just, they, they seem to have integrity and are willing to allow people to review their products with just an honest opinion. And that means a lot to me because sometimes things just don't work out, you know? So if you've been here a minute, you know that I look pretty white, uh, pretty ghostly sometimes. I don't know if this bitch can get any whiter. I'm like the only person that can go to Miami on vacation and come back whiter because I've just been in my life very obsessed with sunscreen and a lot of that is improving in my life, a lot of, you know, OCD kind of stuff. Um, but I do love feeling like I have that sun-kissed look instead of looking extremely pasty white. And so today I'm actually going to show you this product and kind of show you how it works so you can just see like how white that shit is. I stopped using it for a few days or about a week just so I could like kind of show you in the moment. So and just so you know, I have used almost every self tanner on the market. I brought a few of them today. Um, the one I didn't bring was the Neutrogena and the uh, I haven't used that in a while. I don't have it. Um, I meant the Jergens one. So I've used both the yellow bottle and the Jergens like daily kind of glow. And the Jergens was okay, but you know, they often make you start to feel or look like orangey, like a little pumpkin-y girl. And that's not cute for me. I don't need that. I, you know, especially when you think you're rocking a tan, but you're looking like a pumpkin frappuccino girl. So I've used the Fake and Bake, which actually isn't a bad one, but it does start to turn a little orangey and I don't even know if they're around anymore. This was like my last most favorite one. I've also purchased Tanologist, which is actually pretty decent. I get this from Target and it's not bad. It's just super sticky when you put it on and you can't really do much. Um, and it's not very, I've noticed this formula isn't very forgiving. Like if you don't put it on perfectly, it's gonna streak and it's gonna really show. And if you don't exfoliate perfectly, it really kind of shows that, but it's still not too bad of a product for store brand. One of my favorites is the, um, excuse me, the Clarins, and it's super expensive, but it's extremely um, effective and like it just really shows a true tan brown color. So I got these little drops and sometimes I'll add those like to like a little bit of a lotion. So that's kind of like what I do to try to stay tan, but to be really honest, Except for like the really, the Clarins one, um, and even this one starts to turn a little orangey, especially on my face if I'm using like a lot of acidic products like vitamin C, which is strange. This company that sent me this, of course, every company tries to make you feel like, you know, it's the best of the best. So I'm always open-minded and I, you know, try to walk into using any new product just with an open mind and not trying to have too many expectations, you know what I mean? Especially with this kind of stuff. So, I am completely blown away by the quality of this product. And without further ado, let me just get to it. They did send me a little PR box, it's probably a little stained here. And um, it's the company is called Loving Tan and they're not paying me to say any of this. You can't pay me to write or say a good review for you, okay? A lot of people try to do that. Like they'll try to convince you to say certain things because they're paying you and I just refuse to do that. So if it don't work for me, it don't work for me. Um, okay, so the, it came with a uh, deluxe applicator mitt and this mitt is very unique and different than all the mitts I've ever, other tr uh, ever tried. Um, it has a type of plastic in here, like almost a silicone inside. You can't really see, maybe, but it's just a very good quality that doesn't break through. Like, I've the fake and bake will give you a little glove too, but it always deteriorates and starts to leak through and then stains my fingers, which is disgusting. 
So the quality of this mitt that they have is just superb and even the like I think it's velvet I'm not even quite sure um, I guess I should know that but I don't know if it's velvet it, it just it's very very luxurious feeling when when you rub it on the skin it just feels very nice and it moves the product around really nicely I'm going to show you in just a second so the mint even is unique I, I'm just really impressed they've really gone above and beyond to really I think perfect and master the art of fake tanning. Name is perfect, loving tan, I love it. So, and then they also sent me like a little exfoliator uh, polish glove. I never used that, I just kind of scrub uh, before I put it on. And then they gave me a little card and candies. Thank you guys, you guys are amazing. You really, I can feel your love and your energy. Um, and then they sent a deluxe bronzing mousse, which is phenomenal. Now they sent me the extra dark or the dark one so I prefer that I prefer the darkest one and then I just use a little bit instead of the really light one that's super gradual that way I get like an instant bronze look plus I don't have to use very much this shit is super concentrated the littlest amount goes a long way with the foam and it kind of comes out you'll see like just like a little bit of you know foam like that so and then you put that on the mitt and you apply it which I'll show you here in a second then they sent me this um, it's like their kind of their lotion formula of it and this is also super dark very little goes a very long way it's nice because it doesn't stink neither of them smell you know how they start to smell or they they yeah they just have that unique smell I don't feel that with that or the it doesn't feel sticky. I can still get dressed. I don't feel like I can't move for like an hour before I put on clothing. Also, I noticed it's not very transfer, it's pretty transfer resistant. Even when I put on my clothing, I noticed that it didn't just come off of my clothing. It stayed on my skin, like it absorbed into the skin because it gives you that instant color plus it, then it develops into a darker color and tan over time. So they sent that as well. And then they sent a, oh my God, oh, it's here. Um, Cause I just did a little TikTok kind of review for them. This is a body shimmer. Now I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of this one just because I don't like shimmery things, but Nate loves this. He loves anything shiny. Shinies are like our favorite color, but this has like a lot of shimmer to it. So this is perfect. If you want to like put this on your legs, you're going to the bikini, you feel like you look white, like white and just like, you know, that look Casper the ghost during the summer this will give you that instant bronze instant glow instant coverage instant like kind of doesn't look like makeup but it gives you like a just a beautiful looking tone of skin it's pretty remarkable I just don't like it it's not for me now I will say the one thing I didn't like was that some of sometimes I don't want that instant bronze look so you know sometimes I just want it to be a cream that I don't have to like worry about it being brown to wash and stain you know what I mean and I didn't see that they had that um, in a product they're all kind of instant bronze plus develop the bron the tan over time uh, like this is obviously like a clear right there's are like they're like more just lotion or moisturizer and then they develop so that's more of a preference type of thing because sometimes I might want to not just I'm in a rush and I don't want to have to also be so anal retentive with how I put it on because you really do need to rub it into the skin uh, pretty quite you know pretty well to make it sure it's even so we're gonna do that now I'm going to show you on my hand again the loving Tam team thank you I wanted to do you right and do an actual YouTube video for you plus I'm gonna be doing more videos on YouTube or on Insta and TikTok just because I love, love this product. I am obsessed. I will be buying this product. I even am thinking of reaching out to them to see if I could carry it in my office or maybe even on my store. That's how much I love it. I'm willing to buy it to sell it. That's how good it is. And I almost was trying to do that with the fake and bake, but then they changed their formula a couple years ago and the packaging is terrible. It drips. It stains everything. It's very hard to apply, so I chose like just not to go in that direction. But the quality of these products by Loving Tanner are, are remarkable. And put on the mousse. I'll do the mousse and then I'll do the cream, so you can kind of see a little bit of the difference. It, um, like I said, it's very dark. They sent me the darkest one, 
and I just love that because I can just use the tiniest amount without having to you know apply a terrible amount of it on does that make sense so I'm going to do let's see it's hard because I have tattoos on this side so I'm gonna do like this first part with the uh, cream and then the second part with the mousse and it starts to develop pretty quick within like hours for sure so just a little bit very little see how tiny that is I mean it's so concentrated maybe you might not do this if you got their other colors their lighter colors but like I said I kind of prefer it to be as dark as possible and a little trick too I found out is if you moisturize your skin a little bit first and have it still be a little moist or damp so to speak with a moisturizer and then you put this on that will cut down a little bit of the darkness so it's not so dark and you can it's a little more Mm, forgiving when you apply it that way that's just a little trick I do so I'm going to just show you right here see how dark it is this light is it's a little too bright for you the most because it's my favorite it's very dark a little goes a long way so I'm just gonna put it all on my arm here and you can see how dark that is but it's a real brown and you know, the thing is, is that sometimes they go on brown, these tanners, but then when they start to kind of dissolve or oxidize through the week, then they start to turn orange. You know what I mean? Just don't do that. And I've, I've tested, I really tested this to make sure I came up before I came up online and really recommended it. So it's just subtle, but it's definitely a little darker and then it'll develop over time. So, and that's their darkest color. So. Um, if I obviously put more it would look a little darker but I I'm trying to use the darkest color but still be gradual so sometimes I'll use this like twice a week just using the littlest amount like maybe honestly uh, maybe three pumps only for my whole body which is really impressive to be able to use so little and to get a full color tan to get a full tan on my body so um, I don't know if you could tell the difference. You do, of course, want to make sure that you get a little bit in the crevices. I know that they say be careful with the elbows and stuff, but if you don't put a little bit over that area, it looks strange, like your elbows are super white and stuff. So anyway, guys, I don't know if that really showed what I was trying to kind of show, honestly, online. Um, I've also used this. I don't have gloves on right now, so I'm not going to do it on my face, but I'll also put, I'll either like when I'm done doing my body, I'll just put whatever's on here, what's left in here, and kind of rub it into my face a little bit on my neck and on the back so everything just kind of, you know, looks even. Um, I have tried to, like, put it in my fingers and then apply it to my face, but two things happen. One is it goes in real quick. So if I don't have, like, a barrier down, like a moisturizer or a serum or something kind of liquidy on the skin, it almost grabs into the skin too quick, especially if I exfoliate it too much. So a little trick again is moisturize first and then just use the littlest amount because it's so concentrated and dark and then just kind of gradually layer more on through the day so you don't put too much on too quick because I accidentally did that. On only one side it showed and it was much darker on this side. So, so anyway guys, I highly recommend looking into this brand. I'll leave all of their information below and um, give them a try, give them a check. If you do, please let me know, share your feedback. Um, like I said, last words, a little goes a long way. Thank you Loving Tan for sending me these products. They are my favorite, favorite I've ever used, to be honest, ever, 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 ever. So thank you for allowing me to not look like a PCS white ghost this summer and making me also not feel self-conscious that I'm walking around looking like a pumpkin latte uh, during the summer. All right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day. If you have any questions about today's video, feel free to ask them below. Remember to stay gorgeous, and I'll see you soon in a new video. Bye.